How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2, Episode 10. Towards the ending of the previous episode, we saw our girl Reptalia in a hostile situation. She was being dragged to this humongous castle. And like always, as always, we were hit with a cliffhanger. So without further ado, Let's check out episode 10 and see what took place. We started exactly where we left off, I presume. Oh wow, she was being tortured this whole time. Hmm. She's keeping strong. Our girl is keeping strong. Uh, what happened to her power? Oh, wow. Uh, Kyo. Oh, the other heroes Kazuna is looking for. S yep, Sonatorio. That is Raptalia. No wonder Kazuna couldn't find the other three heroes she's been looking for. So this is where they've been held. In a way, this is also a good news because that means if Na if Nafumiwatan, the shield hero, manages to reunite with Rapitalia once again, he will also be helping Kazuna to reunite with her people too. So this is a good news. At least now we know where the other three heroes are: Glass, Ter Teresa, and the other one, Al Alark. Now we know where they are. That bastard Kayo is the one behind all of this. And what will it take for him to be stopped? What will it take for him to be defeated? Because he always manages to pull up, you know, to have a trick up his sleeve. Make it change. All right, here we go. Katana Hero. I don't think in their position they want to be an enemy to the shield hero right now or to anyone for that matter. Yeah. 
They are not in a position to help themselves, and you're telling them to help you, mm -hmm. Reptalia. Kayo trapped them. Maybe you have Charlie should tell them that they bumped into one of their own called Yeah, yeah, Kizuna. Did I say Kazuna in the beginning? I'm glad to hear Glass say that. Yeah, that has Kayo written all over it. This is the kind of stuff he's. This is the kind of stuff he does. Remember when he took the other three heroes and w was using their powers to empower himself episodes ago. It's like the more they try to use their powers, the more their energy gets sapped out of their body. Eto, eto, she did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kogida Stonotori. How did she manage that? She created an illusion. Oh, okay. It's so weird seeing Rapitalia like this, so small. It feels so weird. She has come a long way. To be honest, I didn't think that Glass will make it to season two. On the last, was it the last episode when she faced Nafumi Watani? But here she is. She's now one of the good guys. Mm-hmm. She's starving. They had to change outfits. She's always saying that, that she's not hungry, and then she eats like 
Like there's no tomorrow. All right, Reptalia. Glass has changed. She has changed, man. When she was first introduced to us, she was like, you know. But now she's come a long way too, just like uh, Reptalia. Hopefully it's not a trap. Does a katana vessel has a mystical power or something? I guess we're going to find out. So it does have mystical powers. It chooses its holder. Oh, isn't this the guy that held Philo in captive? The blade rejected him. Ooh. What? <laughs> Here is Raptalia trying to avoid problems. And the Katana vessel chooses her. Hmm. Her slave crest is gone. She went off on her own. Why? Hmm. 
He's growing. He's back. She's back to her normal body. Does this does this mean does this mean that we're going to see a different side of Reptalia that we haven't seen before? Well, she grew a little bit, but not to how she was before. I don't think so. Or maybe she has grown to how she was before. Now, the question now is, can Nafomi Watani still be able to track her? Because that crescent allows Nafomi Watani to, you know, but... But if the weapon has chose her as the weapon's vessel, why are they chasing her? Okay. It must be the katana that brought her here. She feels strong, it doesn't hurt anymore. I guess the sword has a mystical power that the sword had to um, bring her up to her top strength, you know? For her to be able to wield it properly and do what that sword is capable of doing. Really? The sword rejected you, man. What else do you want? Koroshteriaru, my ass. Ooh. She evaded his attack. And not just the, hmm? what was what happened? I thought she caught him. Man, the way she moves. Again, she cut him. Hmm. 
He has no idea what has been done to him and he's still running his mouth. He doesn't even trust Theo. He was going to betray Kyo at some point. Oh, that's the real uh, beast. Is that the real one? Is that Nafumi Watana? The shield hero in the nick of time? Just in the nick of time. That tiger is too big to fall for that. The eee! I take that back. You better hug her now or forever hold you, forever hold your peace. She's no longer bind to Nafomi. She's not going anywhere, man. You're not gonna get rid of her that easily. Oh, Patty. Okay. Definitely a good ending. The pace of the of this episode, the dialogue, uh, the build up to this point, it was not bad actually to some degree it's actually better than not the previous episode but the episode before that i think um this is just a way to see how repetalia evolved you know and it looks like that sword chooses someone with a righteous heart a heart to a right for good a heart to stop evil and in that moment Rabatalia's heart her mind her soul her, her her persona her spirit wants nothing more but to stop that guy because she knows the evil that that guy has done and the sword felt her emotion and chose her and transformed her and now she is in a different league i mean i bet you she's way stronger than she was before she has evolved um, i'm not sure if the same thing will happen to philo at some point is she going to evolve as well just like repetalia and now that repetalia's um crest nafomi's crest episode 11 kazuna the next episode will be focusing on kazuna and we are going to see uh, what about Kazuna? I mean, Kizuna, sorry. Kizuna. The next episode will be focusing on Kizuna. 
and we will get to know what is it about Kizuna that we didn't know before. What is it about her that haven't been told or mentioned? Um, yeah, the next episode is going to focus on her, and we're going to see a little more of uh, Repitalia's uh, relationship or conversation with Nafumi Watani. Uh, Nafi Mwatani literally thought that now she's no longer buying to him, that she's free to go, right? But, you know, their friendship has evolved beyond that. So she's not going anywhere. And I'm sure when Risha finally ev evolves as well, uh, she will, you know, I mean, Risha still loves the, um, was it the arrow hero or the spear hero? You know, she still loves him. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with those two and their relationship, if they will ever reunite again on this season or the next season. So far, we are now on episode 10. Next week will be episode 11. And so we got two more episodes coming up. After the two, I look forward to see how this episode is going to end. It's probably going to end with the shield hero. The other heroes that free themselves with uh, uh, Rapitalia are going to face uh, Kyo once again. And uh, yeah, feel free to share your thoughts on what you think about it. Uh, the previous season is definitely better th than season two, but, 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 I don't want to say that too early because we have two more episodes to go. And in those two episodes, they better bring it. They better bring it. Two episodes left. They better bring it. Or else, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if any or if the fans will be um, willing enough, uh, and if they will be willing enough to look forward for season three. So whatever they gotta do, they better bring it on these last two episodes. So on that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on.